Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here to talk about one of my most favorite games of all time. It is Bubble Bobble. So this is the Bubble Bobble miniature arcade by a company called My Arcade. Now, what this is, is a game that came out in 1986 by a company by the name of Taito. So Bubble Bobble, the basic premise is, just like very many games in the 1980s, was you have to rescue your girlfriend. So Bub and Bob had their girlfriends, they were kidnapped, just like the princess was kidnapped in the Mario game, just like the president's daughter was kidnapped by ninjas and bad dudes. Bub and Bob have to go save their girlfriends from the Cave of Monsters. And they do that by going through 99 levels, jumping around and trying to contain all the monsters in the little bubbles they shoot, and then popping them. So that's the basic premise of the game, but let's go ahead and dive in and take a closer look at this wonderful machine here in the year 2020. Alright, so here we are up close and personal with the Bubble Bobble Micro Player Mini Arcade. Now, it's available for $34.99. You can get it from myarcadegaming.com, that's their website. Uh, you can find it some other places as well. But the game itself is, of course, the original Bubble Bobble game that came out in 1986. Now, it wasn't just that it was available on Nintendo or on the Game Boy. It was available in an actual arcade, which was cool. And it was nice whenever I was growing up. You would go to the movie theater or a couple other places, even an arcade. And, you know, you could play Bubble Bobble to your heart's content if you just popped a quarter in. Now, this one is the scaled down, scaled down model. It's got a 2.75 inch full color backlit display. It's got a removable joystick, so on the D-pad itself, you can unscrew the, the joystick that's on there, so you have either option. And it also has an external speaker, volume control, headphone jack, and you use four AA batteries to play it, which of course are not included. And you also have the option of plugging in a micro USB cable. Now, to do that, it's very easy. Um, of course, it doesn't have a built-in battery bank, which is kind of annoying. It's 2020, the thing costs 35 bucks. I would have really liked to have seen that, but if you just plug in your micro USB cable, and I found that it works really well, I have an external power bank that I've been using to play mine, and it lasts forever, and it's really convenient as opposed to having it plugged in somewhere. But here you are, very easy to get access to the back hatch to plug in uh, your batteries, and then there's the volume buttons there, the headphone jack, and then the slot down at the bottom so you can plug in your micro USB cable. But they did a really good job with the overall design. It looks really cool. It looks very original and it looks very much like an arcade. And I really like the direction that they went with this. You've got the buttons, the jump button, the bubble button, the D-pad with the joystick there, and then your start and your reset button. So you've got everything that you could possibly need to get going with the arcade. And of course, it's very, very fun to play. All right, so the power's on and this is the startup screen. It's just like the original. Everything is exactly the same, and it works out really nice. The only thing it doesn't have is the little animation if you leave it in standby mode. But here you are with the start. You hit the start button and it goes into the game. So you read the little story there, and you're off to level one where you're bubbling and you're bobbling. And very easy. The controls are simple. You either jump or you shoot the bubble. Now, to destroy the enemies, or you have to capture them inside the bubble first, and then you can pop the bubble and then it will dispatch them and it'll turn them into a little gem or a fruit or something so you can get points. As you get points, then you can get additional lives. So that's one nice thing because otherwise, yeah, this game is really, really tough, especially as you get into the later levels. Now, it's not too bad early on. Pretty much anyone, you know, you can get through the first couple of levels, but really as it starts to get going and it gets much farther into the game, it's very, very difficult. There are 99 levels and then final level is the boss level, which you can see here. Now, there's the uh, Bub and Bob's girlfriends. They're, little, they're in a little bubble up at the top. And this guy in the Cave of Monsters is actually, he's pretty difficult. But really, you just have to get up there, get the little lightning potion, and that allows you to shoot a bubble that contains a lightning bolt. And you just pop the lightning bolt uh, bubble, and then it will shoot across the screen and hit the boss, ideally. But it's very, very difficult um, to defeat. And it takes lots and lots of practice, but once you kind of get into the swing of things and you figure out how to dodge those little hammers as he's bouncing around, then it's not too terribly difficult, but it's not a very forgiving game, of course. 
All right, so that's all I've got on my review of the My Arcade Bubble Bobble little mini arcade. So it's a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed playing through this and making this video. Uh, this really is kind of a blast from the past for me and hopefully a lot of other people. I really like what they're doing with these little miniature arcades. They are a little on the you know kind of pricey side, especially in 2020 for $34.99. But if you're a Bubble Bobble fan, especially like me, then this is probably something that you will find is worth it. A lot of nostalgia effect there, a lot of fun, a lot of frustration as well, because of course, you know, it's got 99 levels and you only get a couple of lives. Of course, you can continue as many times as you want, put it in a little continue code and you're good to go. And you can go back and try and save your girlfriend from the Cave of Monsters. But that's all I've got on the Bubble Bobble Arcade review. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. If you like the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you get notifications on the latest and greatest. And thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.